happy Palm Sunday to everybody and all my little friends. I wasn't going to do a video, but then I thought, actually, I've got a really good one I could read. I've got quite a lot of stories I can read. But today, I thought we could read When Sheep Cannot Sleep, because it's a really good book to help you go to sleep. And don't forget, it's the holidays, isn't it? Is it the Easter holidays now? Or are we all going to keep on working? Shh, don't tell my children. Come on then, and I'll read you a story. When Sheep Cannot Sleep, The Counting Book by Satoshi Kitamura. He's a really good author, by the way, if you wanted to get hold of any of his books. This is the sheep. Oh, cute, sniffing the flowers. One night, a sheep called Woolly could not sleep. I'll go for a walk, he said, and he wandered off down the meadow. He chased a butterfly until it flew away behind a tall green tree. There on the tree trunk were two ladybirds, fast asleep. I'm still awake, thought Woolly. Woo, 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 called the owls. Time to go home. It's our time to come out, said a family of bats, flittering overhead. Apples, said Woolly. Can you count them? I knew it was time for something, but they are too high up for me. Try climbing, said the squirrels. Can't, said Woolly. There's a ladder, said the squirrels. They were right. Woolly put the ladder up against the apple tree and climbed, rung by rung by rung, until he reached the sweet red It was a lovely, calm evening, and Woolly was not a bit sleepy. Fireflies were dancing in the air. And grasshoppers were singing in the long grass. Woolly climbed to the top of a hill to look at the view and suddenly flashing lights zipped across the sky. Woolly was very scared. He ran as fast as he could to hide amongst the trees, jumping over red tulips as he went. What a terrible fright, he panted. Where am I? In front of him was a house with lots of windows. The front door was open, so he went in. There were lots of doors. In one of the rooms, he found some coloured pencils. Good, said Woolly. I'll do some drawing. He was so pleased with his pictures that he hung them all on the wall. I'm hungry again, said Woolly. He went into the kitchen 
and he cooked himself some nice green peas. He took them into the dining room. I'm late for supper, he said. Now for a bath, <laughs> said Woolly, with lots of bubbles. Next door was a little bed with a pair of pyjamas laid neatly on it. Stars are already out, thought Woolly. Oh, perhaps I'll just lie down in case I feel sleepy. He began to think. He thought about his mother and his father and his sisters and brothers and his aunts and uncles. What were they all doing? Were they already asleep? His family and friends ran round and round in his head and he closed his eyes. Woolly was fast asleep. Good night. See you tomorrow.